from EFT Providence. I'd like to take a minute now just to review the tapping points with you for anybody who's new to our videos and also for those of you who've been tapping all along just to make sure you've got the right spots. First, it's the karate chop point. It's right in that soft fleshy part on the side of your hand. That's your setup point. And we go through that three times with your setup phrase. Then we have the top of your head where a lot of meridians meet. So it's a very effective point. For some people, all they need is one point, and it seems to do the trick for them. If you're one of those people, great. Just do your one point, but know where they all are in case you want to do more. The next point is the eyebrow point, and it's right where your eyebrow starts. After that, it's the side of the eye. It's right on the bone, on the right outside your eye. The next point is under the eye, right in the middle on the bone under the nose, under the lip, right in that little dent between your chin and your bottom lip. Then you have two collarbone points. I usually just use a fist to get both. So you can do one or the other or fist and do both if you want. And the last point we use is right under the arm. For women it would be right about where your bra strap goes across and for guys it's right on the nipple line. Just follow it around till you're under your Okay, so I hope you're all clear on that. If you still have questions, please let us know. Let's get tapping. Today I'd like to talk about something that I think is probably a pretty common experience for a lot of people, and that's secondhand smoke. We hear all the time in the news that secondhand smoke is almost as bad for you as actually smoking yourself. And the reason I thought of this today is because our favorite coffee shop has a deck, and that's where people go to smoke. So quite often, there's secondhand smoke around. And the way you think about it and the way you respond to it has a huge effect on how your body is going to respond to it. If your thought process is always that secondhand smoke causes cancer, I'm gonna get sick smelling all this, I grew up around secondhand smoke, it's inevitable that I'll have emphysema or cancer or something, I'm just waiting for it to happen then that thought process is leading you down the path to getting sick, where what you want is to trust in the health of your body and your body's ability to clear the effects of the smoke. So today, let's tap for being exposed to secondhand smoke. And if you have specific instances or a background of secondhand smoke exposure, use that. Use the time you were at your parents' party and everyone in the room was smoking, whatever it is. Tap for those particular things. And then we're gonna replace it with how strong your immune system is and how strong your body is and how wise it is, okay? Are you ready? Even though I've been exposed to secondhand smoke, I deeply and completely trust the strength of my immune system and my body to know that it doesn't need it and to clear it out. So even though I've had a lot of exposure to secondhand smoke and I think about getting cancer a lot because of it, I can change my thought. I can choose to see myself healthy and whole. The older I get, the healthier I get. That's just the way it is. Even though I've had a lot of exposure to secondhand smoke and some of my friends smoke now and I can be around them without having to be affected by their smoke. All this secondhand smoke I've been breathing. This exposure to secondhand smoke. Bad things happen to people who are exposed to secondhand smoke. I can't possibly be as healthy as other people if I'm exposed to all this secondhand smoke. My parents smoked around me all the time. So I guess I'm just doomed. I have all this secondhand smoke in my body. I know I'm going to get sick. And if you already have respiratory problems and you think that's part of the problem, tap for that. The secondhand smoke exposure. I deeply and completely love and accept my body and trust in my body's ability to heal itself. I choose 
to think about being healthy and to see myself and my body in total perfect health. I deeply and completely trust in my ability to be healthy at my discretion. I deeply and completely love and accept myself and I choose health. I deeply and completely love and respect my body for its incredible ability to heal me. I deeply and completely love and accept myself and choose to breathe easily. I deeply and completely love and accept myself and know that every day, in every way, every cell in my body is reproducing perfectly. My body functions perfectly every day. I choose to be healthy. Now as specific things came up for you, go keep going and tap for all those little things because they're not insignificant and the more you tap, the better you're gonna be. This is Valerie from EFT Providence. Be well, be happy. Bye-bye.